Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Instinct 2 Solar and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. There is two ways to pair this watch with an iPhone. First method is to pair it during the setup process of the watch. Basically if your watch is new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it via settings on the watch after it's already been set up. First I'm gonna show you the during the setup method and then, demo, then I'm gonna show you how to do it via settings. Okay, so first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the light button. After the watch turns on and your watch is new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping or rather by pressing up and down buttons right here. Select the language you like to use on your watch then press the GPS button to continue. And as you can see now, the watch is asking us if we want to pair with the phone. Since we want to do it, press the GPS button to confirm, but you can also press the down button to uh, deny and set up the watch manually. I'm just gonna press GPS. And as you can see now, we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. So let's open the App Store on our iPhone in the App Store, tap on the search icon right here, then tap on the uh, search bar, type in uh, Garmin Connect, and tap search. You should see this application on the list, Garmin Connect, tap on it, tap on the Get button to install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, you might get some pop-ups about permissions. The Bluetooth permission is required, so tap on OK. And now we need to log in into an account. As you can see, the iPhone is detecting my account, so I can just tap on continue to log in. But uh, by default, you should see this page and here you can create an account, log in, or use the advanced settings. I'm gonna go back and tap on continue. Also, the good thing uh, to check is if the Bluetooth option is enabled on your iPhone. As you can see on, my, on mine it is, but if it's disabled on yours, please enable it before we continue. And once the Bluetooth is enabled, you can check the boxes, uh, tap on next. And we have some permissions again. First permission is for the notifications. So if you want to allow the app to send the notifications to your watch, you need to tap on allow. If you don't, you can tap on don't allow. I'm just gonna allow it. And here we can allow the permission for the health uh, access. So we can allow permission for the heart rate, resting heart rate, basically features like uh, tracking the heart rate, uh, calories, uh, training and stuff like that. And you can tap on the switch next to the feature you want to allow. You can also tap on turn on all or turn off all. And once you're done customizing your settings, tap on the allow button. And the app should automatically detect your instinct to solar tactical, as you can see. You can tap on the connected button. And here uh, we need to enter the code from our watch. So 938729 and then tap pair. Now we can again allow the permission for the notifications. You can also deny it. I'm just gonna tap on allow and here tap on next. Here we can set up the bedtime. So basically uh, you can set up the hour on which you're going to sleep and on which you wake up. This is useful if you want to use, for example, the bedtime do not disturb mode. So it's gonna turn on the do not disturb mode on the hour you should, should go to sleep and uh, turn it off when you should wake up. You can set it by tapping on the box, swiping up and down like that, then second box, up and down like that, and then tap next. And here you can agree to uh, use the do not disturb mode during sleep or not. I'm just gonna tap on yes. Right here we can set up some goals. If you want to edit the goals, tap on edit my goals now, uh, but I'm just gonna tap on skip. But you can do it by tapping the goals and just edit the goals there. 
Here we can allow the permission for the location. So basically, if you want to track your activities like uh, running and stuff like that on the map, you need to allow this permission. If you don't want to do it, you can also tap on skip to keep it disabled. I'm just gonna allow it. And right here we have calendar access. So if you allow this permission, you will be able to see the appointments and events on your uh, watch. Basically, you will get the, uh, inf uh, uh, I would say, um, notifications about them on your watch. If you don't want to use this feature, you can tap on skip. If you want to, just tap on allow calendar access and tap on OK to allow the permission. And now we can tap on the sync now button. Then tap on finish. Right here we have a tutorial how to use our uh, watch and we can tap on next to go through it and then finish. And right here we can manage the weather location. So if you want to set the uh, like weather location for your weather, you can tap on manage weather location and you can use the phone location or use the fixed location if you want to. And if you want to use the fixed location, tap on fixed location right here. It will open the map and you can uh, use the map to find the location you want to use the uh, weather for. For example, let's click next to Rome somewhere. Come on. Do I need to, ah, you need to press and hold and then tap on set location. Okay. And as you can see, here we have the location. We can go back and we should see the uh, main page of the app, but again, we get the another pop-up about some features like Garmin Pay, Solar Charge and stuff like that. And we can customize them by tapping on Get Started. And here you can uh, customize these features by tapping on one and going through the uh, things, basically following the instructions on the screen. Okay, so once the devices are connected, you should see the uh, Garmin Instinct icon right here, basically the icon of your watch at the top. You can also tap on the more icon to open the menu, scroll down, uh, tap on Garmin devices, and you should see your Instinct uh, 2 Solar Tactical on the list of devices connected to your watch, or rather phone, my bad. You can tap on it to open the device page for your watch. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch uh, during the setup process. Now I'm gonna unpair the watch quickly. And I'm going to show you how to do it via settings. It's basically the same, just uh, you need to uh, enter the pairing mode on the watch via settings. So to do it, press and hold the menu button. Then scroll down by pressing the down button like this. Keep scrolling until you find the, um, I believe, system. Then press the GPS button, this one, to enter. Here, scroll down. No, oh, no, my bad, it's not in system. I need to go back to the uh, settings right here. Scroll up, it's in phone, I believe, or yeah, in phone. So we need to scroll down, select phone, then press the GPS, scroll down, and there is per phone, my bad. So find this option, press the GPS button, to enter the pairing mode and now we can open the application uh, in the app you can uh, you can tap on plus button or uh, devices and add device the app should automatically detect the watch and you can just retrace these steps as we did before basically connect uh, allow the permissions stuff like that we already have the permissions allowed because we did it before so the uh, app won't ask us but we have the sleeping uh, schedule goals um, and we can tap on sync now and finish and our watch will be, be will be paired with our phone like this as you can see okay and that's how you pair this watch with the iphone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video